What's up, everybody? This is Jack from Crypto 49er, bringing you my knowledge in cryptocurrency. Today, I want to talk about the Gecko Trading Bot and Ichimoku Cloud. So, this indicator is something that's not built into Gecko, and I can't take credit for it because I didn't create it. And there's actually a lot of different people that actually worked on it. So, first of all, you can find this indicator and the strategy connected to this indicator in this particular post right here. Uh, by Pat Trends and he, I think between him and Fisco right here, they basically created enough of code that's working code, actually literally the indicator with a strategy that basically works, at least on backtest wise, that works to uh, utilize the Ichimoku cloud. Before I get further into explaining the strategy, explaining the code, let me go ahead and explain Ichimoku Cloud again. I think I tried to do so in the past, but I think this chart right here is, is the simplest way for me to give like a, probably a one minute explanation. So essentially you see there are five trend lines in the Ichimoku Cloud. So there's the Chiku Span, Tenken Span, Tenken Sen, Kaijun, Senku B, and Senku A. For this particular video, you can ignore the Chiku Span and just concentrate on these four lines here, the Tenken, the Kaijun, the Senku B, and Senku A. So essentially, the Senku A and Senku B forms the cloud. These two lines should be above the cloud. Then that's, that's one indicator that this is a, you're currently in a bold trend, at least in the time frame that you're looking at. One thing about the Senku A and Senku B is that you see that it's actually drawn ahead of the actual current price point in this chart here. So basically, they're like predicting the future, right? At least that's what people that like Ichimoku, they like the fact that they see these trend lines that are kind of predicting what's going to come. Don't buy into that bullshit. Essentially, what it does is it is using calculations from these two trend lines and adding another baseline to it that forms the Senku B and pushing that out, like basically pushing it forward in time. That's all it's doing. So it's using these, these information here and pushing it forward. So it just, yes, it's predicting but it's not really going to be that accurate it's but then there's some people completely rely on it and i can't say that it's wrong i'm just saying that what it is is really using historical data to create the two lines so that actually took more than a minute but anyway that's essentially what ichimoku cloud is so let me go into the code before i do let me uh just want to also go over the fact that this is a calculation that you can uh, that they use right here in stock shots so you can see how each of these lines are calculated the conversion line the tenken the kaijun the baseline so on and so forth so all these information are in various articles i have linked down to below so you can definitely check them out read very carefully to understand the ishimoku cloud it took me quite a bit to understand myself but once i did it wasn't something that was like so confusing that you can't use as an indicator. Based on just this indicator and strategy built up by Pat Trends and Fisco, I plugged those into Gecko and here are my results. So the very first chart here, this is a very basic simple result. And this is um, a back test of that particular strategy and indicator. So I just did it on in the bear market of last year. Well, most of last year anyway, I, I'm missing the chunk in the, in the tail end here from September to December where it dropped another 30% or so. Anyway, actually more like 50%. Using the base settings of Ichimoku Cloud, 9, 26, 52, 26, here are the results. During that nine months, the market went down 57%. But Ichimoku, the strategy, if you follow that strategy that's on uh, the Gecko forums, it's only, you only lose 17%, which isn't bad, but honestly, if you're losing money, it's bad. So first thing I wanted to do was make sure I can tune this strategy in any way to make it at least positive. So first thing I did was found this particular article in here from CryptoCred, uh, and he lists his top three favorite indicators, and one of them is the Ichimoku Cloud. So in here, he points out the simple fact is the parameters used to calculate the Ichimoku cloud is for stocks, at least the base parameter. So the ones you should use is the ones he lists here, 20, 60, 120, and 30. And he also lists if there's an altcoin that uh, that doesn't have enough price history, he used this 10, 30, 60, 30. My suggestion is don't use this, unless of course maybe you are playing with a lot of altcoins that don't have the history, but 
my testing with this particular parameters for the HMO clouds. This is this performs worse than even like uh, the base parameters that's like, that everyone uses with stocks. So don't use this one right here, but definitely use this one right here. And here is the reason why. So going back to the charts here, after I plug in these new parameters and I ran it, I, I, and I ran the back test. So same back test, same time frame, January 1st is September 6th of last year, running with the new base parameters, 20, 60, 120, and 30. The result is positive. Right then and there, you see that uh, instead of losing money, you're great. You're gaining 23%. Hey, I'll take 23% in a bear market because that's basically you're up 80% technically because the market was going down 50 something percent. You not only beat the market, you beat it by 23%. So that's pretty damn good just by changing the parameters. So if you don't even Go to the rest of the video, just follow this particular strategy, just use his particular parameters for um, using the Ichimoku Cloud. That is the first thing you should definitely do. Next, let's dive into the code and uh, show you what it looks like in here. The Ichimoku Cloud, first of all, um, following the instructions in the Gecko forums, so the Ichimoku indicator used by Patrend and Fisco in that post, actually, they didn't even write the indicator. So the indicators were, was already built out and packaged in NPM. So all they had to do was just uh, use the node package manager and pull it down. So when you pull it down, this is where you find it at. You find it in node module Ichimoku SRC. So in here you can see this is the actual indicator, which is kind of strange because this is not the normal location where Gecko stores the indicator. But since it works, I'm not going to complain. I probably should actually move all this into actual its own indicator inside um, Gecko, but for the time being, it works. So I don't really have time to do that. Let's just leave it at that. Now let's go back to the strategy right here. This is the strategy for Ichimoku, and you can see that it requires Ichimoku, and this is how it actually references the indicator in here and uses it from the, in the strategy. Within the strategy, you can see it's is initializing the different things, conversion period, the four different variables that's available to uh, in the parameters. And it actually is going to uh, check if there's a value. If there's no value, then it's going to uh, put them at zero. So that's how this works. As always, the most important part is the check function right here. This is where it actually does this magic in a sense, right? Where it determines when to buy and when to sell. Since you're going back to that chart in here, when the Kaijun the red line crosses above the blue line, actually is right over here. So it crosses above it, that's when it's when you're supposed to sell. And then inversely, when the tanken crosses above the kaijun, so the tanken crosses above the kaijun right here, that's when you're supposed to buy. So you're supposed to buy here, sell here, so you make a good profit just in this you know particular chart in here. And then they also include the the cloud in here so that they only buy when it's in between the cloud, essentially right over here. So when it actually crosses in here, it also actually comes into within the cloud. That's when it buys. And it sells as long as it's above the cloud, either the Senku A or the Senku B. So this above the whole entire cloud here. So either one, it'll sell. That's the idea with this strategy. That's how the strategy works. And I already confirmed at this point that this strategy works for the bear market. But what about a bull market? So let's say, let's go back to 2017, so I'm going to go back to the back test in here. Again, I ran all these back tests already so that I don't have to uh, wait for the test to run while the while I'm making this video. But you can see from uh, January 1st, 2017 to January 1st, 2018, essentially the entire bull market. Maybe the last week doesn't really count, but overall it's a bull market for Bitcoin in 2017. Very bull market. Based on these settings, 2061, 2030, the results is pretty dismal i mean you're still getting money but basically almost any strategy is gonna make you money in 2017 because it was a bull bull market a very very crazy bull market where bitcoin 10 times itself right so it's technically 12 times itself from um, the beginning of the year to the end of the year while the market was went up 12 times this strategy only went up not even five times so it's ichimoku was pretty bad in terms of bull market and I would say most strategies are like that. So, but how do we tune it so that we can make it better? A little bit at least better for the bull market. So this is one thing I did was going to the code here and just changing it up. Because I know right now we are in the bull market. 
uh, even though I might not feel it because like it's Bitcoin's bouncing between 8,000 to 13,000 roughly. But overall in the bull market, you have to be way more aggressive. You have to stay in the market longer, buy when it doesn't seem like a good time to buy, but buy anyway, that kind of thing. So that we're, you know, as soon as there's one indicator saying it's, it's bull, because essentially we are in the bull market right now. So any indicator that, uh, that point to bull, you should, you know, consider. Again, this is not investment advice. This is just the fact of how uh, bull markets work compared to bear markets because anything can then trigger a, a instant bull run or and whereas inversely for bear market, anything, even any any sort of indicator that it was uh, that was that saying it's a bear, that's tr- uh, that's indicating a bear market. In addition to the fact that it's bear, then you know it's gonna fall even more. So what we're gonna do is in the bull market. All I did, uh, I'm doing. I don't even care about the the crossing in here. I I only care if the price is above the cloud. So if the price is above the cloud. Go and buy. Essentially, that's what I was doing. So I went up doing like this, and then changing it like this, and even taking this one off. So I don't even need this anymore. So essentially, you only only have that very very um, limited view of the uh, of the market because you're only using one part, a very small part of the indicator and the indicator that you, and that part is the price is over the cloud price is over the cloud you buy that's it <laughs> and then on the sell side of things i actually didn't have to change much I, i'll show you what happened first so essentially i did change it originally i just changed it like this so instead of um staying in only until so this is the map dot max so only until uh the price has falls between uh it's basically fall between the clouds, the span A and span B. So that is the Senku A and Senku B. So if it falls in between the cl- uh, cloud, you sell. In addition to the uh, the fact that the Tenkin, in addition to the uh, Kaijun Tenkin cross. Following this setup, again, same time frame, 2017 to 2018, same settings. I'm now making basically 10x. So not quite where the market was. The market, was, well, the market went up 12 times with Bitcoin. This only did 10 times. So it was close, but not quite there. So that's why I did originally. But then what I ended up doing is, I thought this was a little too slow, I guess, in terms of sell point. So I ended up going back to at least the sell portion, where what it normally was. So I did that, and then the result for that was, going back down here, again, same settings. The result now is that it's 11 times. So I went up 11 times instead of 10 times. Just based on the fact that I um I had it sell a little faster, I guess, to capitalize on some of the gains, but still be going right back into the market as soon as the price is higher than the cloud. So that's what it did, and that's why it's eleven times. Still not quite there, but this is as close as I got. But point is this: I wanted to create a strategy that is basically foolproof in the sense that whether it's a bull market, bear market doesn't matter. So. I wanted to create a strategy that's that's basically gonna work throughout the year, throughout the multiple years. And first thing I need to do is find out how well the Ichimoku Cloud works on its base level. Basically, it's a baseline we're creating. So let's say do a baseline test. This is a baseline test of Ichimoku based on a both a bull and a bear market because we have 2017, the first January 1st of 2017, to 2018 September 6th, which is we were in the very deeps of um, of a bear market. So in that point, you can see that it was still making 600%. So the market overall was up five five times, but it just beat the market six. Uh, so basically six times. So this is not bad. I mean, Ichimoku itself, if you just use the strategy, it's pretty good because what it does is again it. it it saved your ass in terms of um, keeping you minimizing the losses that you have. Actually, even giving you a slight gain during the bear market. But the bull market just didn't do so well. But overall, because the market by itself wasn't so hot from um, from January uh, from January twenty seventeen to September twenty eighteen, this was able to beat beat the market. So now for me to cons- to think of a way to even beat this strategy, beat this base level this baseline. What I want to do was um, essentially what a RSI Bobia ADX strategy does, but make it simpler because RSI Bobia ADX is really confusing in terms of 
when it actually switches trend. And it just switches trend way too often. So I also needed something to, that doesn't switch trend that often. They basically just is really follow the market and say, okay, know for pretty sure when the market has completely switched from a bear to a bull. I mean, in, in Bitcoin case anyway, it only happens like every couple of years. So whereas, you know, uh, RSI Bobby ADX, unless you, even if you ran it in um, a, on a daily candle, I imagine it probably switches more often than, than you would like. So what I ended up doing was creating a second version called Ichimoku V2 and essentially just using the mayor multiple as I pointed out in previous videos the mayor multiple is simply um, an indicator created by Trace Mayer where um, it's basically his way of figuring out when the market is bull and when the market is bear. I'll link to my explanation of it in my previous videos down below. All you have to know is using the mayor multiple I'm dividing what to do when the market is bow and the mark and when the market is bear. So when it's greater than one, when the multi main multiple is greater than one is bow, and when it's less than one is bear. Simply put, that's all that is. And the main multiple is really just based on, based on the two hundred SMA. That's all it is. So one thing I did have to do was uh, use multiple time frame, like something that I did previously in the RSI bow bear ADX TF, which is time frame. So essentially, I'm just um, use, I'm using the candle batches to see shown here inside Ichimoku V2 so that it's going to calculate a daily candle when the market is bull, when the market is bear. That's all it is. So it's going to use that. It's going to use a daily low and then as long as the SMA200 is less than the daily low, that means we're in a bull trend. And inversely, basically anything else is going to be a bear trend. That's all it is. And, and inside here, that's when I actually added the different variations. So basically when there's this bear market, I'm just sticking to the basic strategy that was written up by Pat Trends and Bisco. But in the bow trend, is that's where I change it up so that I I use the signals that I talked about earlier. And the result is this. So based on my changes, so instead of 600% or six times the market. So with this version, it's getting closer to seven times. Not quite there yet, but it's closer, but much closer to seven times than before. So it's even more improvement. And at this point, this is really beating the market by basically almost 150%. I'm gonna include this strategy in the link down below as well. You guys can check it out. And that's basically it. That's my video for today, guys. But before I go, just want to let you guys know I'm on Patreon and I appreciate if you become a patron. It's only $2 a month. And with that donation, I do write a monthly article that only patrons have access to. It basically provides some more insights or make some more things that I'm playing around with with Gecko or some other stuff, anything that's related to crypto. So you get that once a month and it's only for $2 per month. It's definitely worth it. And also I just want to give a um, shout out, uh, thank you to everyone that is already a patron, especially my new, my newest patrons, Steven, Selton, Alex, and Ronald Diego. So thank you to all of you guys and as well as everyone else on this list here. Thank you, thank you for, be for being a patron. So that's my video for today, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. I know I've been saying that I would answer some of these comments, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. I will definitely do it this week. If it isn't crypto, it isn't worth mining, it isn't worth speculating. Peace out.